So big data analytics and machine learning has actually helped us in managing the energy availability part of the business. Really. So it, it has been a game changer. Hi, my name is Leroy Tinangani. I'm a co-founder and team lead at Neat Energy. Neat Energy is an AI-based technology startup whose mission is to bring intelligent insights to microgrid operators operating at the edge of the grid or off-grid based on weather data. In Africa, there are over 600 million people without access to clean energy or power, right? 70% of this demand will be catered by renewables which means more people, more investment companies, more energy service companies will be deploying renewables to cover that gap. Our goal and mission, part of that vision, is to see more than 200 million people having access to clean energy uh, through the platforms that we built as Neat Energy in the next coming 15 to 20 years. If you have solar panels on top of your house or your community relies on solar panels to generate energy or gas, what we do, we collect data, uh, then we look into that data, we tell you how much of energy are you going to produce and also how much of gas are you going to consume based on how hot it is or how cold it is or if you are going to have a sunny day or if you are going to have a cloudy day. Because all these things do affect how much you produce power, how you consume it and how you distribute it. Currently, we are operating in Zimbabwe. Uh, we've developed uh, Zimbabwe's first intelligent smart grid uh, for the LP gas. We are currently running a pilot uh, with microgrid operators that are providing renewable energy sources to remote regions uh, in Africa. And the third and final application that we are working on is in Australia, where we are monitoring over 2,000 smart meters at the edge of the grid. The whole purpose is to predict when they have excess power or when they do not have excess power so that they can manage their resource quite optimally. As it stands today, over 600 million people in Africa do not have access to power, right? This presents an opportunity for us to build renewables into that demand, making it the biggest demand in the world. So what it will do, it will improve people's lives in creating jobs, uh, building better healthcare, and also saving a lot in terms of carbon emissions. We hope to take our experiences in from the African market, industrial region, to a global economy, right? So that, you know, we are not just building things that help Africans, but things that could be adopted at a global level, you know, so that we can also experience uh, the same kind of growth.